Hey, I'm Mark Tullius, stay-at-home dad and author, pretty much your average guy. See that guy in blue? That's me about 15 years ago. That right there, that was the day I asked myself, what the heck am I doing? Oh, I know, I'm getting punched really hard. Yeah, doesn't that look like fun? Well, the truth is, I loved it. Every fight, even all the losses. But when friends and family would ask, why are you doing this? I could not answer that question. That question became part of my past. I began to focus completely on my family. My beautiful wife and best friend, Jen. My adorable son, Jake, who never seems to sleep. And my wonderful daughter, Olivia. It's her love of MMA that made me want to answer that question. So I began to ask myself, why do others fight? What do we have in common? That's where my journey started. Nearly a dozen trips across the country, 100 gyms, 400 fighters, all coming together for the largest MMA sociological study. I'm here to discover who these fighters are, and most of all, why do they fight? This is Unlocking the Cage. Today we're in Massachusetts with Joe Lozon. Joe's a submission specialist and a true warrior known for his record number of post-fight bonuses. All right, let's get to it. Do you experience that as a kid? Were you getting into any kinds of um, trouble like that? I got in like no fights, like ever. Um, so for me, it was, I started doing jiu-jitsu because I wanted to tap out all my friends on the trampoline. So here I am like a week after my 18th birthday, like 150 pounds soaking wet, uh, fighting this kid, that, uh, this guy, this grown man uh, that was, you know, was like, you know, jacked, no shorter guy, but jacked, uh, has his own school, hundreds of students there watching, a main event. You know, that was my first fight. Are you, are you a pretty competitive person, like even with computer games, with baseball, and overall, are you a really competitive I'm person? I'm super competitive. I hate losing, you know, like, yeah, I hate losing. You know, if you're going to do something, you should do it. You know, you shouldn't just kind of, you know, just jump in a little bit. You know, you should jump in 100%. You should go with it as much as you can. You should put every every bit of energy and, and effort you have into it. But if, if you train and you, and you do everything and prepare the best of your ability, like, how can you ever be upset about how it goes? We get we get cuts and in, in, in scrapes sometimes, so people see blood and they think, oh, it's the end of the world. Really, it's not. A lot of times, you know, some, some cuts can be bad, but for the most part, it's a little blood. 